morning and welcome to the Sunday Shave. Some lovely deep colours there. Enjoying them. Happy weekend. I hope you're having a happy weekend and a good healthy one. Um, and before I start, may I send out my regards to all those. Is it on the east coast of Carolina? Um, it's travelling inland, this uh, huge hurricane. Um, just take care. We are thinking of you over here. It's a lot. It's shown a lot on the news. I've never seen so many floods in all my life. Um, I noticed someone said on my other channel, Len, if you're watching, uh, you were watch if, if you watch this channel. Anyway, he was saying that he was watching one of my videos from a shelter and uh, one of my walks, and it was uh, just lifted the spirits a bit. So just look after yourselves up there. We are thinking of you. Okay, so what are we using? Um, GOF Trumper today. Uh, Limes Shave Cream. Now, to me, this soap isn't as strong as the Castle Forbes. It comes with a little plastic lid. It's a lovely silky soap. There's no work to it to lather it up. We're using an Edwin Jagger DE89. I use that for a while. Very standard cut. Um, aggression for me. Uh, there is overhang slightly and there's some nice um, lined um, handle grip there which is okay if it's wet uh, not if it's soapy. Um, so that's what blade we got. Well put one of these in. Uh, it's a Nasco Super Stainless. Comes in that box. I think I've used them before. Double wrapped which is a good thing. It means they look after the, they want to look after the blade. So firstly, the blade's wrapped in wax paper, and then that's inside this envelope here. Um, red mixing bowl, hot water in the sink, Omega synthetic inexpensive brush. So that just needs wetting, I just wet my face. Hair's been cut. Was by the the lady normally does it, she's still away I think. But um, so I had to go to another lady. Who oh, very impressively, Mrs. H told me to go to her. Uh, and she used a um, shavette on the back of my neck with some talc. So I thought it was a nice touch there. Right, so we'll wet this now. Don't need to soak, soak the old um, synthetic. Give it three flicks and we're away. So has this sweet gone for you quickly, slowly? Are you glad to see the back of it? Are you glad it's the weekend? Any nice plans? Any nice shaves? <laughs> um, Here we go. A bit more water. So I like a bit of water. Now I like it, as you know, quite um, thick and creamy or pasty, as some people call it. But uh, that's going to be good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice lime scent, but uh, as I say, not as strong, uh, well for me anyway, not as strong as the Castle Forbes. Um, it's a very good shaving cream, this. Not a strong scent, but it's there. But, um, here's a lime. Scent, but it'll get, I think it, if I remember it gets better with each application sort of because um, it's usually the lime just heat the razor usually the lime scent is sort of a candy sweet as we call it scent and um, which this is but it's very nice so here we go I'm doing Jagger D89 non-adjustable mid aggression for me Asco super stainless I haven't gone high enough here 
Get rid of them sideburns, baby. <laughs> nice blade. Brand new blade. Forget how nice this razor is as well. Always oh, nice to have a weekend. Are we level? No, we're not. We are now. Is that her ladyship? Feel what like this on the top notes, no? I think that was a. Uh, Tell really. up on the roof. Very nice blade. For a new blade, there's no tugginess. It's acting like a blade that usually for me is on the second and third pass really nicely run in and the edges are nice and smooth. It's cutting through, it's a nice aggression this razor and the combination of everything, a good solid well built razor. Mid aggression. Nice blade. Make a note of that. Now slickness is superb on the first pass and it's not a wet lather is it? It's quite a thick creamy. So what we'll do now is rinse, rinse just wet the hands and then uh, mix all that wastage cream in. Big difference that. You with me? <laughs> What's going on here? Get out of it. Good grief. Right, it's stuck there. Okay. Reapplication. So, what we'll do is go back to the bowl, gather from the edges, and then we'll give it a bit of wetness now to the tap. Beautiful brush for synthetic. Look at that. So that's slightly a wetter taste. One of my five a day there. Taste that tastes better. Well, yeah, it does taste better. Do not eat this product. It's um, smells yeah, nice sweet lime. So here we go, across the growth, second pass. Taking them sideburns off. <laughs> Lady that did my hair, do you want to take these? I said, do what you want with them. Wow, really nice. You know, you get used to shaving and you you think you've used this and you, 
you've seen it all. And, then, and I've used these before, but you see, this is the difference. You may use a blade and you might think, hmm, nothing special. You know, don't get rid of them. Keep them. Use them in a different reason. One of the, just now and again, you get that moment where you think, wow, that works. But write it down, otherwise you forget if you want to have a shave like that. This is across the growth, by the way. Double chin. I've uh, changed the uh, Facebook cover on the Paul H Facebook group page because it wasn't right. Um, because I don't know what it is with uh, Facebooks. It gives you a size, but when you use it, it doesn't work. <laughs> because it's, it's different on a PC, laptop, phone, tablet, you see. So it looks, so it may look out of sync now to you if you're watching on a different thing. But anyway, I think it looks a bit better than it did. Sort of more in line, so. Hopefully. Right. There we go. Are we ready for the third pass? And I think... I'm going to have more water. I enjoyed that. Sort of wetter. People out there, like, yeah, at last he's come. <laughs> no, I, I don't mind a wetter lather if it works, like something like this. But um, I do enjoy thick and creamy as well. Right, Sunday dinner, what are we having? Right, well, we're having, right, right. Well, we're having roast lamb, shoulder of lamb, or half a shoulder, really, it's only me of lamb, uh, roasted of course, bit of a uh, bit of rosemary, a bit of thyme as well, just on top, sprigs, and I'm having today a mash, but a um, uh, three sort of, ma it's like mashed potato, mashed swede, and mashed carrot, all together. So it's a my grandmother used to do a mashed potato and swede and she call it ponch mipe, I think. Lovely. But anyway, don't ask me what it means, I've no idea. Ponch mipe, but uh or where it came from. Which is something we grew up with. Um Shame it, should have asked years ago. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten the dinner. I'll come to it now. Yeah, so that combination mash, potato, sweet, carrot, uh, roast lamb, with some rosemary and thyme on during cooking, and then um, what have we got? Marrow fat peas, yes, and lascentos of gravy, and then around the lamb, and then mint sauce, take the thyme and the rosemary off, and mint sauce on the lamb, gravy surrounding, and then enjoy. And the brewery has delivered my weekly alcohol. <laughs> Um, I've got some K cider, 8% that is, but it's nice. 
not too much when you're cooking though. Otherwise you start seeing two joints of lamb. That is nice. So that'd be a nice change there. That had swede for a long, long time. I thought it was a nice uh, thing to do is to mash them together. I've had it before. Very nice. Oh, we know what time it is now. It's a Sunday. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. <laughs> Not sure why I did that, baby. Anyway, get some shirts made with this. Pick up time, baby. You could wear that Saturday night. <laughs> Don't blame me. Yeah. I haven't done that for a while. I have had an accident. <laughs> it's a British advert. And I'm entitled to compensation. I can't do it. Right. There is a few... Uh, I thought I might have done too much up there. Nothing to worry about though. Lovely scent, lime, but it's not strong at all, it's just about there, lime scent. So for me personally, uh, Castle Forbes is much stronger. Um, not quality wise, it's just as good, the quality and the little slickness, but the scent uh, for me would be preferable on the Castle Forbes. Mind you, it should be as dearer. Yeah, good slickness. Mmm. We had a celebrity wedding about what is it for me about six miles seven miles away well, it might be more than that anyway no about six miles five six miles um, he's a chef Bryn Williams was it Charlene somebody's married anyway Paul McCartney's daughters or daughter was it and all them lot in a little village in Wales. Because he's from round here, Bryn. And the uh, chef. I taught him everything he knows in the chef business. <laughs> Mm. 
And what's his name? Um, he always makes me laugh. Uh, oh, he's always jumping him. Hey, hey, big boy. Yes. Hey, hey, yes. Uh, what's it? Uh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> That's how terrible I am doing it. Right, that's it now. <laughs> Rinse off. Hey, hey, big boy, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Like you are. Thayer's peach. So this is my second of my five a day. Oh, woohoo! Hey, like you've cut into a peach and you smell it. Beautiful. Ooh. Not used you for a while. Very nice. I'll give Thayer's that, their cucumber, and this is realistic. Wow. Okay, now then. Doing it a bit different today. I'm putting the cream first. If you remember, I said a while ago, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to be using this. You see, this is a uh, Tale of Old Bond Street Collection 74 Victorian Limes fragrance. So I want that last. So I'm putting the protection first. That's the only reason I'm doing it this way, is because I want that lime. I could add it, then do this, and then add more, but no. Ooh, that's a nice... <laughs> I haven't told you what I'm using. L'Oreal Birch Sap. That's a nice scent with this. <laughs> it's usually the orig <laughs> Nivea Originals mixes with anything, but... Uh... Oh, Good stuff, that. Don't forget your ears, because I do. Right. Let's take this off that. And then, well, do you mind? Thank you. And then, oh, have a sniffed of that. <laughs> they start making it, I don't know if it's back now. But, uh, lovely. Very yellow. Mi Lay. Wait a minute, she's going to go berserk in a minute. Wait. That is, uh, well, that was a real sort of um, lime scent. I've never had that. I don't think I've smelt it from that before, like that. That was nice. When you don't use things for so long, you see. That's nice. Hand out. I'll have a bit more. Oh, that's lovely. Oh yeah, hey, nice. Lean forward then, come on. There we go, that's lovely. Okay. Lid back. Save the old evaporation. <laughs> Is that on? Yeah. Oh no, it's not. I'll sort it on anyway. So, Edwin Jagger. DE89, very standard, good quality, good price, um, non-adjustable, three-piece razor. Fantastic. And suited well to this Asco blade. This Asco, it came in the, this little blue box, it's an Asco Super Stainless. Fantastic blade. In that razor, just sang out to me today that. That was really nice. Um, GOF Trumpers comes in this box, very ornate, very nice. Um, and there's the soap, and that is uh, Limes Shaving Cream, very nice, good slickness, blathers up straight away, lasts with the shave, a very gentle scent, nothing strong. Um, for me though, there's no difference in slickness or quality with Castle Forbes. Both on par in that in slickness and lather. Scent, however, is better on Castle Forbes and stronger for me. So that's that. And then we use Thayer's 
uh, rinse with water. Thayer's peach, very realistic, very nice. And then we've used um, L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Sensitive with birch bark. And that's their birch bark there, you see. <laughs> Good stuff. And then we've used this posh stuff, you see, his lordship. Oh yeah, he's trying to get a few, you can get your own son. There we go. That's and that comes in this box here. Not there. So and that is it. Lovely. I'll leave you in peace. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. If you're having a shave this weekend, or if you had one, I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to have one, oh, really enjoyed this. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, Amiga synthetic, and I forgot that, and the red mixing bowl. Yeah, have a great weekend. Stay in good health. And look after each other and take care of yourselves and those that are affected by this hurricane over in America. We are thinking of you. Take care. And uh, yeah, we'll keep us updated on the news and things. So uh, all the best to you. We are thinking of you. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the weekend and a good start to next week. And I'll see you on Wednesday for that midweek shave. Take care.